Stuart, I have a question. Um, I am having uh, more often uh, involuntary movements, uh, mostly during meditation, but also uh, um, in the night uh, when I'm sleeping. And um, I don't know what you can what you can say about this. Uh, I hear it is uh, it is uh, Shakti moving, and I will have to get used to it. Well, you, you'll have to get used to it until the Shakti just dissolves all the impediments in you. Understand the movement comes. It's called Kriya. And it comes when the Shakti moving inside you hits a block. And it works its way through that block. And then there's movement. Your hands can go up in the air, your head, you know, back goes back, you know. And those movements are, there's nothing unhealthy about them. They're just part of your system, you know, getting free from the impediments, the things that are keeping you from having a spiritual life. And they're called Kriyas. And uh, I I mean, I still have them. I don't have them as much when I was younger. Boy, I used to bounce around the room, you know, with those uh, movements. And uh, and eventually, you know, 90% of them just went away because of having, you know, broken up the blocks and the tensions that were keeping me, you know, from connecting to higher energy. So I wouldn't worry about that. I think it's a good thing because uh, we all have blocks and we all need to get rid of those blocks. And that's the purpose of Shakti, of energy. Mm -hmm. All those blocks. And while you're going through it, just relax and let the, let the higher energy do its job. You know, it really is working on you. And that's mm -hmm. good. So I wouldn't worry about that, Luke. It's it's a very good thing, and it's a thing that tells me that you you're growing, you know, in your life, and that's really very good. I I also notice uh, I am uh, um, how to say I'm I'm also much more emotional. Is it's there a, is there a relation with that? It's not that you're much more emotional. The energy is releasing those emotions that have congested you inside and made you tighter. So again, I mean, you know, I, the best comparison is if you get sick, you take homeopathy, mm -hmm. you know, and they 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 create the problem to get rid of the problem. And they said they release yes, the poison yes. that's creating the problem. So yes. sometimes they get even more sick, but it's not getting more sick. The, uh, the the poison is being flushed out of your system. So you experience those kind of things. And it's the same way with what you asked about, you know? I mean, uh, when the heart begins to really open, it releases so much stuff that we have, you know, we have accumulated there, you know, as protection against what the world is going to do to us. Meanwhile, we are doing the worst thing possible to ourselves. We're getting tighter and tighter inside. So the Shakti is releasing that. It's releasing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just let it go. You know, you'll be emotional for a while. It's all right. Nothing wrong with being emotional. Uh, I'm not worried about it. I'm having fun. Good. Yeah, you know, I mean, and then you transform all of those emotions into the one emotion that we all need to live with, and that's love. And all of that emotion is blocking that. It's keeping us from just simply opening our hearts and loving ourselves and other human beings unconditionally.
Okay. Does anyone else have a question? You heard? Yes. Today I will tell you something good about. <laughs> I don't want any um, buds. Or, okay, let's. <laughs> well. um, I felt very, very much a light inside of me, and I have that light now. How can I keep it? What can I do to keep it longer, as much as longer as possible? Well, how you can keep it is you continue to work on yourself and build a system that enables you to sustain it. The reason it goes away is it opens, you know, and then it closes. It opens and it closes. But if you build that system inside, it will open and it will stay open because you have the inner strength and capacity to keep the heart chakra open. This is very strong just now, I feel. I never felt this way until now in my life. I felt light, but not so strong. You look, and you look 30 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You look like a I young think girl. I think it's a, a last time, and now I'm I feeling I just give something away. I hope so. I will keep this nice light in well, me. Laura, that's why I have all these classes every week, so people can get strong enough to sustain that. Wow. But it's so nice to live like that. <laughs> wow. I agree. I absolutely 100% agree. It's nice to live that way. Mm. To like yourself, to like other people, to love yourself, to love other people. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I love other people all the time, and uh, but it was coming something new all the time, and now I feel something uh, big. I am rid of it, with it, maybe. All right. Well, now you're learning to like yourself, and other people will learn to really like you. <laughs> Children like me. <laughs> they love me. Else, does anyone else have a question? Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Does anyone else have a question? So I just have one announcement. You know, yesterday we had a special class. Well, I have more than, you know, celebrating Rudy's birthday. It was an extremely powerful class. I haven't quite even recovered from it yet. And uh, it was very powerful, very transformative. And I think it's the beginning of a new year that's going to be a remarkable year this year. And I'm hoping that all of you benefit from it, all of you grow because of it. Oh, and you're an hour late. <laughs> so nice. it went to it went to spam. You're I couldn't find it, and finally I found it in spam. Sorry. Yeah, also, that's a good thing, because if you can't find this, sometimes it does go to spam, and you just go there, and it'll be there. And if not, just get in touch with me, you know, and I will send you a, another invitation directly to you. First time it did that, so I didn't know. Sorry. Anyway, it's a, you know, it's a, I think this is going to be an amazing year. I think this is kind of a you know, the light coming out of darkness last year was a very difficult year. And the class last night really showed me that. It was just very beautiful. It was on a very high level. I'm happy to say that tomorrow uh, I'll be posting three more of my, you know, Tantra posts. And then next week, next Friday, uh, the last two will be posted. So that book will be finished. Now I have to find a publisher for it, which I don't know is going to be an easy job. It'll probably be easier writing the book than finding publishers today. But anyway, there are a lot of good things happening. Um, and I'm happy that all of you are part of my life and I can share them with you. And we all can find that child inside ourselves, that wonderful young person that really wants to open and embrace life. 
wants to live and be happy in the world and embrace this world in a one, you know, very wonderful way. So, you know, we'll have a class again on say Thursday on Sunday. And uh, you know, God bless you all. Thank you for being in my life. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. You're welcome. Bye.